way of doing an archer build that's a little slow um, as mongols he has faster hunt uh, that's a really good bonus on these open maps so yeah. he could go a 17 pop scout rush now if he's going 17 pop scout rush and you're going 17 like pop, man. yes it's, it's possible and if he's going 17 pop scout rush and you're going 21 22 uh, pop um, archer rush uh, he'll definitely I mean he could have scouts in the base before you even hit feudal so um just from hearing the strats just from seeing the sieves if you want to go archer I would say wall from like dark age because you'll, you'll be a bit behind army wise now the good thing is if you do wall I'm looking at your I'm looking at your game here you could oh <laughs> you almost got a scout very good very good Reggie not bad at all yeah but you, you got distracted trying to kill a scout and you're gonna lose a build to the ball okay um I would have used your scout to block the ball to save it from a few of those shots I think this ball will kill your build yep oh although God, you could have garrisoned it in time nope you could have garrisoned it but um, you got distracted Okay. But uh, don't Yo. worry about that. That's just how it is. I might hold. Can you pause for a second? I might uh, actually. I'm gonna. Because um, you're 10 to 15 seconds behind. Right. So I actually don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna stream it on Discord as well so you could see. Stream, share stream, go live. Alright, now if you check Discord, you should be able to see my game. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, on you, you, Yeah. Alright, so you lost Perfect. you lost a vil to the ball. Right. But so now you're one vil behind. So you're a, you're a vil behind him and you're doing archer bill while he's doing while he's probably gonna do scouts. So um I think what, what time? We're at five minutes. So I always, as a rule, I try to get to the opponent's base by like eight minutes, just so you know what the hell they're doing. Yeah. Um, and you're housed. <laughs> and is it, I was just watching him build his first house, well, his third house, and you're housed already. And what did you do to remedy this? Did he even realize? Oh my god, I don't think he realized you got housed. No. Okay, no. So you have one builder fixing your house in problem. I would have probably just taken a few from wood to this villa house immediately. Okay. Okay. Your thanks for the follow. Uh, your food builds are going idle a lot. Um, you can't ever have your food builds idle. They should always be collecting some form of food. <laughs> That's oh god! I got a lot of follow. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Yeah. So we're just here with Veggie Chops. We're watching him. We're watching one of his replays, um, trying to see where he went wrong in fighting this Mongol opponent. Yeah. All right, eight on the ball. You didn't lose two bills. That's good. Yeah. So what I would say is, Veggie, um, considering that he has Mongols on an open map, yeah. I would have already started warning. Okay. Yeah. I think <sighs> once I get my my. Um build started like around when I think when I hit feudal that's uh -huh. when I usually start walling but I didn't even know that there was a 17 pop yeah, uh, yeah but he he's right. not doing it anyway so you got lucky this yeah. game and but still um, knowing that yeah knowing that you should definitely prioritize that oh this is a lot of bills over here why do you have like a thousand builds <laughs> all right four on there eight on there oh my god those bills are gonna walk all the way back okay nice save Okay. Yeah, this guy, I don't think his build order is, um... No. Oh, I was watching point. the enemy. He, he did, like, yeah, something very yeah, well yeah. over there. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw. But <laughs> I think... Yeah. I mean, I, I made a couple of mistakes that kind of snowballed. Right. So um, he's going up to Feudal Age. With... Let's see oh, how can many... You, oh, can you put the scores on, actually? Yeah, I'm trying to... Put the scores on. So he's going up to feudal age with twenty-one bills. Now somehow he's he is a bit behind you. 
um, because you lost the bill, but he's only going up with um, 21, and he didn't go go up yeah. uh, that recently. Right, so, so you'll notice now that I'm scouting his base now. I'm starting to scout his base now, which is around, which is two minutes too yeah, late. Then my, my yeah, you're kind of scouting his base. Um, he didn't. He didn't bother to finish scouting you though, so you could have continued walling. Um, he's now building a mill, so his his build order is pretty atrocious. Yeah. Yeah. He's now doing his berries. He had like ten on there. Um, even with him being mongled, um, you probably should be. You should have been up before him, and you should have been getting your archers out. But you know. Can't dwell on the past. Let's see what he decides to do in feudal. Mm -hmm. So he's in feudal. He hasn't built a stable yet. So he's. It, it, I want to say he's going to go for feudal aggression, but probably with a yeah. very poor build order. So if you notice, my scout in his base is wrapping around, and it's going to come out up between the trees, and I'm going to see the two stables actually. Yeah. So he's not um, building a stable. That's good. Yeah, so just looking at him, he should have had two wills on one stable at a time. But yeah. I'm not coaching him, so. So what would you do? Um, cause I, so I see that he's doing scouts. Uh, I'm not fully walled. Actually, my my map is kind of hard to when wall, you, I felt. When you see those scouts, you start, you build like um, two to three pipe spearmen. Mm. Yeah. So you build right two away, to three. Yeah. yeah, and you. You wall your base, and you're doing it right now. You're walling. Um, you had a bit of idle time, which you have to look out for. Eleven on wood, five on food, three on gold. Uh, oh, so when you hit feudal age, if you're doing um, an archer build, then you housed again. Mm -hmm. You need to have nine on wood and the rest of gold. Nine on wood. Okay, because the build order in the um, the mod is eleven. I don't know why I have twelve, but this is eleven. But he, um, he definitely needed more on gold to start producing archers. But you know, when you see him, when you see the two, the two stables, you definitely need mm -hmm. to start pumping out some spares to defend your base. And you yeah. did not start walling the right side. So I mean, this walling on the left, it just it's kind of useless because he could just go around. But you you're doing a decent yeah. job actually scouting around his base. You know, sometimes when I'm playing, I don't do such a good job of scouting myself. Um, so you just need to work on like your, you need to work on being able to scout while multitasking back at um, your base, at the eco. Yeah. And you're about to get housed, but I, you know, you're not gonna make it. You're gonna get housed again. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think, I don't know why I was under pressure, but I, <clears throat> I usually take one villager to just keep on continuously building houses after this. Yeah. Uh, I mean... After my I hate feudal because you just if you do that you'll you'll you won't get housed. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, I don't know what happened. I, it was pressure in the game, I think. Yeah. So he has five scouts now. Um, now the next thing is you you may be walling a bit too far away. So yeah, I'm looking at the top much, right. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so when you're feeling a bit pressured, it's better to like build your base a little small. Um, mm -hmm. Compose yourself. And then move out. Now I'm seeing people in the chat saying "Grandy Commercial." I don't know what uh, I don't know what that means. Is Grand Commercial a player? Hey, Commercial. Who's Commercial? I have no idea, bro. But I'm glad he's in the. I'm, I'm glad he's in the stream. Okay. So Grand the enemy is coming down with the scouts. You've been housed about three times now. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure you knew that already. Um, Right, they're gonna kill your scout, which sometimes it happens. Now, you got lucky because he didn't scout around to see if there was a hole in the wall, which there was. Um, so when he starts attacking your, now he's attacking your barracks, which is an interesting choice. He should have attacked your palisade walls. When you're making a spearman, make them inside the barracks. You know how to do that, right? Yeah. 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 I think I was just freaking out right now. <laughs> Yeah, and you're repairing the building. Don't repair the building, just make another one. So it, so you, you make more walls that way. Um, just repair, okay, repair yeah, yeah. the building, just waste the gold. 
and I'm watching you, right? Oh, thank you for the follow back in. Appreciate it, bud. And uh, let's see. So we have like nine archers now. Now you could have brought out the archers and start attacking your scouts. Yeah. So what are you thinking right now when he's attacking here? Um, I'm just, uh, I'm trying to produce villagers and still try to keep my base safe. Uh, I got kind of afraid, so I, I like here, like, I think the base was just way too big. Yeah, like, you I made couldn't... it. So you I wall, you wall it. in the base a little smaller so that you could defend against attacks around uh, any uh, of the walls. Nuvis, Nuvis sub, by the way. <laughs> Nuvis sub, by the way. Oh, was, thanks was, for the uh, sub, Nuvis. I don't see it on my stream, though. That's odd. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot so happening. Right. Okay, there's a lot happening here. Yeah. You have the, the villager now coming late to build a house. You have the archers coming out late for the defense. You have the spearmen yeah. late. Um, I'm going to pause right here. I want to see what he's doing at his base. So let's go over to his view. Is he making more? So he's making more cavalry. Now that's a big mistake. Um, when you're doing a, if you're doing a scout rush, and mm -hmm. you're, as, you're as, uh, he's not too far ahead of you, so he's just gonna waste units on scouts, and you can easily counter those with just um, spearmen, right? And anywhere yep. in his, now you're fully walled. Anywhere in the wall that he tries to attack, you can easily just send three spearmen there, and it counters like um, four to five scouts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I'm looking at his eco right now. He's He has stone walls in the feudal age in the back. Interesting choice. Um, but he also did not wall the front of his base. Uh, so had you still had your scout, you may you may have been able to see that. And you could have probably gone and tried for a counter attack with your archers. And I would say your archers and two spearmen. While you leave two to three spearmen inside your base to defend against his scouts. Now that's a lot of micro because you'll have to... Do a forward attack on him while defending your base with spearmen. Yeah, I think that's a little bit past my level, but I, I do I do see what you're saying. So what yeah. okay, I, so I like if, that idea. If that's too much micro in too early, what you could do as well mm. is try to go up to castle before him. Now okay. I'm watching his base. He has thirty three vills, you have thirty five vills. So you came up ahead of him in Vils up again. Even though you lost a Vil early game and he went up to Feudal before you. Yeah, and do you have enough to go... You Okay, now... This is another mistake here. You have... 11 on gold. You probably should just... If you're doing two, two archers, two archery rangers, you just need it's 9. You just yeah. need 9 on gold. Yeah. And the rest of farms. When you reach 16 to 18 farms, you probably want to go up there into Castle Age. So you actually had enough. You right now should have enough resources to go to Castle Age if you sold gold for food. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you, you you should... So I'm I'm right back in the corner again. Yeah. <laughs> Nubis said you should have 50 on gold. No, Nubis. That's very bad <laughs> advice. Okay, so I'm looking at this fight in the corner. You have two spearmen, like nine archers, and your building houses. So I would have just left them AFK to fight that. Um, go build my market real quick. Sell the gold for food. Go up to Castle Age. And yeah. okay, let's go. Let's see what happens, right? So he's just running away. Oh yeah, this is a bad-ish fight, but uh, he's not. I think you got more value there. Okay. Yeah, I had, to, I had to block my guy out because he was behind the, the house, so I was like, fuck that. Yeah. I mean, I know what it is, you know, when there's a lot of things happening, you kind of lose, um, you kind of lose your edge. And yeah. he has a lot of scouts attacking this barracks. Of course, if you, if, if, if you were him, you would, of course, attack the palisade walls. Exactly. Right, yeah. yeah. But I think he still maybe gets in here, I can't remember. Yeah, it, it looks like he'll get in. I should have just walled around that. Yeah, so remember, next time you're just gonna wall around. Oh no, yeah, yeah it's... Okay, they're gonna pick off a vil They're gonna pick off an archer. This is a bad fight for him, I wanna say. 
No, he has he has enough scouts to. Oh, but you wall back up. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's good thinking. So you get to wall while he has to. You see, and he has to retreat. Look how many he has like nine scouts. Like imagine going into Castle Age with nine scouts. Yeah, it's they do. not very enviable. And he's not yet going up to Castle Age. I don't know why I'm not either. <laughs> yeah. I, I think he's freaked out, man. Yeah, you don't have a market to, to sell. Okay, now you clicked up the Castle Age. So you clicked up before him as well. So you're gonna reach Castle Age before him. But you don't have a scout um, to go see what's going on in his base, which is pretty open. And he's gonna... So because you walled so far away, um, he's just gonna be able to break in here. What I would do, let me pause real quickly, is wall around here so you have a, you have a wall over there okay he's gonna break in yeah. you have like 10 villagers on wood just send them all to make um palisade walls around here and even some houses you know you can quick wall a lot of that with 10 builds okay so let's see what what happens uh you don't notice yet you're still you start producing out of your okay now you're going off the castle you're now taking power scholar I didn't notice if you had um, the lumber camp upgrade yet. Okay, so you send one vill to to wall. I'm quick walling like um, yeah. each each uh, square. <laughs> yeah. So let me pause right here. Okay, so that's good that, that you're trying to quick wall. But here's the thing, like it. It, it would cost you less at this point just to take those 10 bills at the lumber camp and just go make some walls there like um, yeah. like a lot of times I uh, I need to make like a castle or a wall and I just mm -hmm. refuse to take all my farm bills and just have them go build it and then you know what happens they come through and then they kill the farm bills anyway and then I think to yeah, myself yeah. well I may as well have just sent them right because that's true it, yeah. it would they're, 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 they're gonna die any, if they're gonna die anyway you might as well use yeah. them and then save yourself to, yeah. give yourself well, the percentage to win so in my mind i think well i don't want to go and have to send each one of them back to the farms so i just pray that i that um i able to castle up a wall up before the enemy comes in but it never looks out anyway back to the game um okay these are a lot of scouts though this guy has a lot of scouts um and your base is so big that he can attack both two sides and get in because you can only defend properly one side at a time. Right. But really and truly, so look at it look at it again, right? So it would have cost you much less just to leave two one or two wills over here AFK. And anytime he tries to break in, just build houses. In fact, you could have just built houses two rows of houses or something. Or more yeah, rows of palisade yeah. walls. Hey, by the way, man, can you pause for a second? Yeah, it's paused. You should change your uh, your stream name, my man, to uh, to Coaching Noobs. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're sorry, sorry, sorry. no no noobs here. We're we're pros tonight. You know, <laughs> looking back at your games and looking at your mistakes is the most pro thing you can do. Okay. Yeah. So this is your first step into pro dumb. Okay, let's go. Right, so he's gonna pick up a vill there. You're about to go into Castle Age. You, you did not make another barracks, which. Okay, uh, so here's here's the thing. Here, I think I made a huge error. Like, obviously, I made a bunch of errors, but I should have went for expos, crossbows, because I got the castle. And if I would have waited, I could those archers would have been so much stronger to pick off those. Um, yeah, so you could have. So what you could have done is, instead of having your 20 archers die over here, you could have had them over here at the TC. In fact, so you could have, so you could have sent the, so these, these, um, these 10 villas that are about to die over here, they could have mm -hmm. made a tower, and your archers could have been defending the tower and the town center, and it yeah. would have caused them to, to not be able to like really attack the archers, the town center, or the tower. And the tower would have protected right. your wood line, it would have protected your gold line. You know, and also, um, no, this is a lot of micro in here. It's always easy to say these things in hindsight, but you could have built a house over here mm -hmm. 
to block in this wood line. Um, but the thing is, you know, every game you try one thing and eventually this becomes a habit. You build a t you build a tower, boom, you build a house, boom, you block in your wood line, you protect your goal line. So even as he bursted in here, um, he would not be able to just easily run through and kill everything. And of right. course, you should have rebuilt the barracks to make more spearmen. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I didn't make some more spearmen, man. It's so stupid. I think it's because I was low on wood. I was trying to just keep on playing my game and like right. not be, not be um, you know phased by him. But right, right, uh, right. Now you don't lose. Really you don't lose too many things here. Um, he has not yet. He has not yet clicked the feudal to castle. So, to be honest with you, after this fight. Um, I think you could have, you could have come back. I'm looking at your resources. Yeah, with some better micro, and you could have, you could have been left with some watches. Yeah. Yeah. See? I'm horrible at um, at microing uh, my army. They're really bad. Yeah. And I would say build at least one more TC at least if you're not gonna go two TC booms. And never be afraid to have the Vils fight the scouts. Like, just take 3-4 Vils and just have them beat up those scouts. And he's bringing... You didn't plug up the hole, so he's gonna bring two more scouts in. I wanna look at his base real quick. So I'm looking at his base. He has a ton of apples over here. His base is not open. So... A counter attack is possible. He still just has two stables. Let me see his resources. Okay, he's halfway to Castle Age now, unfortunately. He's taken um, the gold tech pretty early. I, I don't know if he, if he took um, Wheelbarrow, but he probably did pro, at 46. Pro days. Franco? <laughs> Nuvis? Yeah, 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 it's just... Oh, he's such a beast, Nuvis. <laughs> such a beast. Nuvis, such a troll, Nuvis. Okay, so let's go back to the game. Now he's going up. You have a lead on him on Castle Age. Um, you should have been making. And look at all the resources, man. You have a, a 1200 gold, 1300 food, 1 TC. Yeah, I got that Pro Franco name from Rob Mayhem. He's, he's a 2000 Elo streamer. Of course, he would call me Pro Franco. LOL. Yeah. So you're okay. You're researching crosswoman, but you have no archers. You have like one archer. You yeah. have one archer. You have one pikeman. So embarrassing. <laughs> so okay. So at this point, you have to think to yourself, what's he gonna do next? Um, he's probably gonna go into knights, right? If he yeah. started with scouts, he's probably gonna go into knights, which means you wanna get some pikeman and your crossbow up. And you probably want to get, I don't know, like a ram or two and see if you could do a counter attack. Now since you don't have a scout, you have to assume that he walled up, right? Even though he didn't. Yeah. And you could have just ran in his base and start killing things. It's too bad, huh? Yeah. That's okay, let's speed up here a little bit. Let's see what's going on. You're now taking the second lumber camp upgrade, bone saw. You still just have one TC. Okay, you're building your, your next TC now. You should have built two one time. Especially as you have 39 builds. At this point, you should get Wheelbarrow. I don't think you took Wheelbarrow yet. Now, okay, hold the phone. Is he taking... He's taking the gold and the silver mining upgrade? Wow. I don't know what yeah, this... Yeah, he's, he's, he's an insane noob, but... Yeah, that's some build. Okay. Yeah. So he's wasting a lot of um, resources there, taking those two up upgrades a little bit too early. And I'm looking at you again. You have 1400 gold, 1300 food, and you are not producing archers out of your ranges. You are not producing knights. Do Ethiopians get knights? They do. They do get knights. Now, of course, the hard thing here is you ideally... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is stone. It is stone, but stone, you know, it silver, silver. You know, it's all gray stuff. Gray stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I meant to say stone there. 
Okay. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Now at this point, you want to make pikemen and crossbows. Um, okay, I think I think I agree with you, and I think that's what I try. I'm trying to do. I think I'm having a hard time balancing my eco though, because the wood lines are no longer safe on the right. Yeah, I'd have just um, taken these wheels off of gold, since yeah, you have enough gold to make enough crossbow. One, I take these wheels off of gold, maybe put them on stone or or wood, stone so you can build a castle. Um, or some defensive TCs. And what of course they can make more crossbow men and pike men. And also as well, um, you, you know, you're gonna think this out. Well, he's gonna make knights. Knights are one of the best um, castle age units. Um, so you probably just wanna go, you probably wanna spend as little time as possible in, in castle age. Now, he does have mongols, and mongols are very strong at Imperial Age. So, I mean, it, it's a it's a tough decision for you, but I... Wow, there's a lot of knights he has here. Okay. Yeah. And so you spend the time... I mean, you spend spoiler. the time to make 23 knights um, without, like... He should have been attacking with 5, 10 knights. But um, mm -hmm. it's okay. That's that's say your benefit. So that, that's for you to notice, but at this elo... Like people really messed up their army. They because he could have come and killed you off with five knights alone. Exactly. Like, yeah. Easily destroyed you because you would have had like two pikemen at that time, and five knights could take down two pikemen no problem. And yeah, so I mean, classic noob syndrome. Um, yeah, building up your eco, but you're not building up your army, and you have so much resources. So I finally decided to send a scout out to fucking find <laughs> yeah. out what's going on. I think. And I think Which... he's gonna get massacred. Yeah, hello Vivi yeah. fan. I'm um I'm watching a replay of Veggie Chaps and I'm hoping to have him out from one noob to another. Okay, I wanna see what goes on with his scout here. And he's gonna get massacred. Yeah, that's the last we're ever gonna see from that scout. It does not look like he took husbandry though. Which is pretty funny. No. Yeah, he did not take husbandry. Always take husbandry, folks. And he didn't even wall in his base properly, but I guess he thinks this TC will defend that hole there. Now he's taking yeah, a, his he's taking a sweet time with these thirty knights. This is a lot. What is he doing though? This is a lot of knights. <laughs> of you could you could imagine that surprise when he he, he attacked. <laughs> yeah, out of five stables. Let's see what's going on in your base. Um, I had eight crossbow. Five pikemen. Now I want to point out once again, Veggie. You are not making crossbowmen. You have two thousand gold, sixteen hundred wood. Yeah. Fuck. Now the thing is, you have ten on stone for some reason. That's pretty weird. Um, if you're gonna put so many on stone, make walls, man. Make um stone walls. And you know what? You, now you're thinking to himself. You're in Castle Age. He has the Mongols. He's probably gonna go knights. You palisade walls are nothing to knights. Yeah. You really it's need to stonewall it up. And this would have been an opportunity for you to close in your base a little bit. So he would have had a tougher time to break in. You could have used this wood yep. line here to wall. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, you know what? Man, Sell it. the it's gold and me. Sell the gold and the wood for some stone and bella cast a castle. Yeah, to defend your ranges. Right. Oh my god, how much knights is he gonna build? This is 49 <laughs> knights. He's giving you so much time. And you know what it is, uh, Veggie? Like, mm. like if you were focused and just like focus on defending your base with building stone walls, he would yeah, have done nothing have not with those knights. Yeah, yeah, he would have lost a lot of knights because you could have built um, when he. So when you stonewall and you see he has knights, you could have built um, a siege workshop and put out some mangonels, mm -hmm. and they would have. And as he's trying to break in, they would have crushed him. But, and he is making a he's making a defensive castle while he has fifty knights. I don't know why he could have just built it forward. That's okay. Okay, you're building a castle now with three villas, huh? Okay, let's see how that goes. Yeah. So I think by now you could pretty much see what the problems were. You, you weren't building enough. You didn't get to... Well, you did scout that he had a lot of knights 
which meant that you should have made maybe one or two more barracks and start making more pikemen. Um, you have one seventeen hundred gold. You could have easily sold this gold for for food and gone up to Imperial Age and get Halberdiers. If you had Halberdiers here, like if you did that, you would have easily like um, killed his army. Yeah, this Palisade War is gonna go down pretty quick. Let's see how you respond. You have your pikemen out. Oh, he's taking a sweet time to kill this gate though. Yeah, you you yeah, actually could have go and stonewall there. What they wanted. And okay, so quick pause, alright. What are you doing with your builds? You have some idle builds. You have these so these builds are on these farms, they're gonna die, you may as well put them to go finish this castle. Um you you actually did have enough time to stonewall based on how he was playing, which was he's playing pretty weird yeah. there. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, play again. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Yeah. I don't know why I'm making power pit walls there, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah, you have like 800 um, stone as well. Oh, wow! You fend, it off, you fend it off against 50 knights. And he's running away, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that should have been your GG there though, but um, that's pretty good. Okay, so Vivi fan says he got I... wrecked versus Adamo. Oh, that's I'm sorry to hear that Vivi fan. Yeah. Okay. So he has 44 knights. He only lost I want to say six knights there. But yeah, um, you have you have 11 builds over here on stone. You should have gone and stonewalled here. So he stopped the attack when he saw the castle. I guess I'm gonna guess he's gonna make. Rams, yeah. So you made rams. You're just gonna come and ram down, because of course you have thirty. So you have two thousand wood, fifteen hundred gold, and you have thirteen crossbowmen. You should have had sixty crossbowmen by now. In fact, you could have been making more rangers. You could have made sixty crossbowmen, and you could have had like a decent fight. Um. Okay, you're going up to imperial age now. That's very good. Man, it's bothering me, all the things on- I, when you watch yourself do something, yeah. you realize how noob you are? Oh my yeah, god, it's, it's so bad. It's pretty tricky, oh. I know, don't worry about it, bro. So he has 59 knights, he has 4 rams, you're, you're up to Imperial Age before him. But I'm gonna guess he's gonna come and make some traps and cut down those castles. So this is the thing about low elo, like he has, he has enough to kill you, because he could have come around this side and start killing the back of your base but he wants to take all of his knights and attack you in one spot you made a castle outside that's a mistake um, keep the castles inside to defend why isn't he attacking me? I don't know let's speed up a what little bit I'm speeding up the game a little bit I want to see what the hell is going on yeah. wow this guy is super passive like he's I think he just wants to have fun Man, he could have killed me in like 35 minutes, you know? Yeah. How many crossbowmen? So you have 16 crossbowmen. Where did all your gold Wait, go? Man. Oh yeah, you used it to go up to Imp and then to attack into Halberdiers. Yeah. I mean, in fact, he could kill his whole army with... Not his whole army with Halberdiers, but he could have done some decent damage. Yeah, I should have spammed... Um... I should have spammed the uh, Halberdiers here. Yeah, so you could have built out all, you could have oh, built out your base more and made some barracks. Yeah. Well, you're starting to, so you had the idea. Yeah, but those um oh no. So they're going to kill the archers. Right. So they're going to massacre your archers. And you didn't have enough help to kill all those cavaliers. I'm pretty sure that's GG right there. It should have been GG a long time ago though. Fuck. Yeah, so you're just gonna um, oh. roll through your base. I think this siege ram, he has um, that mongol tech to make his rams faster. That's why yeah. they're so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so the cool. fan said you should have had a castle on a hill, but I don't see any good hill spots for you here to be honest. Oh, you made it outside there. Yeah. You made it right to the edge of the hill. Uh, take note of that for next time. So the Cavaliers, they're running through your base, they're okay, and you call the GG now. 
Alright, so let's return to the map. He still hasn't fully walled his base as well. Okay, so let's see. I had, a, I, had a, I had a couple of windows to do some damage to him, and I just didn't. I didn't. Yes. I ended up being passive. I don't know. So, I'm not good at turtling either, though. I'm not really sure what to do there, but so I the, see that I should have just reduced. The difficult thing about ashes is they lack mobility. So, like, when you're defending your base, it's hard to know, like, when to go out to attack his base, right? Because if you walk out with the archers, they have to walk back if you need them. And he's he made scouts and knights, so they could just run back between bases um, relatively quickly. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Very true. Yeah. Thanks, we was told all that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> so you're floating fourteen hundred wood. Um, you could have made three more barracks and spam halberdiers. You know, in fact, like a halb army could have. Could have done some good work. Yeah, to his rams and to his cavaliers. And you would have still had enough to, for crossbowmen behind him. Yeah, that's true. And if it's you had. Very true. I mean, it's hard to micro crossbowmen and halberdiers. But um, you could have micro the crossbowmen in between the buildings and had the halberdiers behind them and tried some stuff there. Okay, so let me look around your base. Also, you could have expanded. I mean, so he never he never bothered to come around, which is um, something you see a lot in low elo. Um, I mean, I always try to go all over the base and look for little holes, um, but he didn't bother to do that. So you could have probably built behind here, or you know what? Um, the same way he came out here to build in the top corner of the map, you could have come built like over here. You probably wouldn't have even seen if you had another base over here. And the yeah, good thing sure. about a second base is it kind of gives you like, um, you know, uh, some comfort that you have <laughs> a little bit more going on around the map. Okay, yeah. So you see how he, uh, you see how he built his forward seed workshops. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to be doing. You want to make your seed workshops forward, so that your rams don't have to to walk a mile. Yeah. And. He also as well should have made some stables forward, but I mean he made X69 so, you know. Oh man, yeah, yeah. it's uh, that was depressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, man, there was a bunch of good stuff that you told me there, man. Uh, especially the, because uh, one of your, I know one of your strengths is the, uh, your walling is, um, you have a good sense of walling. So, like that's what, the thing I noticed when I watch you play is that you, it's kind of natural, you know how to, yeah, uh, for me, like that's a new thing, though. You know that, like it, um, like the big walling thing early. It never used yeah. to be a thing in the community. Like that's a very oh, new. Oh, okay, like, on HD. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just try making smaller walls, man. Smaller, just you just want to get your gold in the wall, and your stone if you can. Yeah. And just make the wall as small as possible, and if you see you have a little bit of lead, um, you go out. And um, the thing about, so when you wall small like that, it's hard to do, but you, you also want to go and wall outwards eventually when you expand in your base. That's the only trick to it, like that's where it gets like kind of complex, the expanding your base a little bit. Because at that point, like if yeah. you're doing well, um, you may be in the middle of some micro in your army and then you have to be like, oh, I'm going to have to make stone walls over here, I'm going to have to make another TC, some more mills. But um, you get it with yeah. some practice. I mean, I haven't played a lot of arena lately, so I've been getting lazy with my walling. <laughs> I haven't played an open yeah. like like an open map in like two weeks. Oh yeah, well I know you're playing a lot of arena though, but uh, that's cool, man. Yeah. I mean, you're carrying. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. the the newbiest of games. Okay, all right, so let's end this game here.